All right, so now that you guys have had a chance to develop a plan to build your soil moisture meter using a microbit computer. In the next session, we'll start exploring how to code the microbit so that it can interpret soil moisture readings. Remember, the goal of all of this is to build your own soil moisture sensor that we can use to collect data on Crystal Coast State Park so that we can answer our second research question and see how the woody mulch, straw like mulch, and no mulch are affecting the amount of moisture in the soil. Eric is going to get you started with coding when you start with session eight.